Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, I know that some of you all have heard of Sukiyaki. This is by a group called Taste of Honey. The same Taste of Honey who did Boogie Oogie Oogie. Yeah, I know. Couldn't pronounce it, could you? Or could you pronounce Sukiyaki? See? 1981. Sukiyaki. Taste of Honey. Very, very good group. And I want you all to understand, we're gonna we're gonna flip to the mix, okay? Like we always do. We've got a little bit of Rolls Royce going on. You see? Then we got GQ. I do love you. We got Silly, Stacy Lattisaw. Finding love on a two-way street. Fire and desire. Tina Marie. And that Rick James character. I'm Rick James! <coughs> Censored. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be a simple, quick video that I'm going to put together for you because i got to let you know what's going on. Do you guys want to know what's going on? I think they want to know what's going on. Do you think they want to know what's going on? I think they want to know what's going on. Do you think they want to know what's going on? I know they want to know what's going on. Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you what's going on. Okay, there's been judges. There's been attorneys overlooking that affidavit, that power of attorney. We were wondering, hey, you guys were sending back our power of attorneys. You're following them. What's up? We called them today because we hadn't received any in about two weeks. What's up? Where's our papers? We got people waiting on them. What's wrong with you people? Sir, we're waiting for our notary now. We have all of your documents sitting on our desk right now. They know who we are by now. Yes, that's right. We created a rapport. And we're going to get them out today. And if we don't get them out today, we guarantee we'll put them in the mail tomorrow. They've all been stamped. They've all been filed. What was the problem? Well, we couldn't file them under land records. Well, we weren't asking you to follow them under land records. Yeah, 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 we, we, we know. We just wanted to make sure. So we, we confirmed that the way they're written, we didn't file them under land records, but we did put them on the public record. That's all we were asking for. Okay, well, sir, they're going to go out today and tomorrow, but all of your documents are being sent back. So all of you who sent your birth certificates in those far, you should be getting them within the coming week. Okay, because as soon as we get them, we're sending them right out to you. <sighs> Thank you. All right, we're going to be putting up a video very soon telling people about the different offers and telling them the pricing plans and all that stuff. Why are we going to be doing that? Because we got to let you know, we had to get our foot in the door. Now we got our foot in the door because they had a judge look at it. They had attorneys look at it. And they have all said that not only does the document comply with their law, and that was the issue, but that it qualified for being filed on the record. All we're looking for is the Minnesota stamp and the Minnesota seal, ladies and gentlemen, and that it be filed on a public record, ladies and gentlemen. Now, why am I doing this video? Because I got an announcement for the new people coming in. We have taken the affidavit and you, you all know me. I'm always doing refinements. Yeah, we'll come back to that. I'm I'm doing my Adobe, you know, updating it. And I got to do the crack for all of these. Yeah, I got crack, y'all. Anyway, uh, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, ladies and gents, what I have to let you know, that was Sukiyaki by Taste of Honey. What I got to let all of you know, and that's what I'm here to do, to let all of you know, is that we have a new affidavit. Okay, that's this one right here. Now, I keep showing you all this view right here. I apologize to all of you. I did not know that you all could not see what I'm looking at right here. Silly of me. I didn't know you guys couldn't see this page. This whole time I'm thinking you're able to see this because it's a free site. None of this stuff is hidden from you. But apparently you can't see this. All you have to do is go by the link. Sorry. <laughs> I left this one up here because this one is connected to the link. Wait, let's make sure that it's connected to the link. Are you think you're connected to the link? I think we're connected to the link. Are you sure you're connected to the link? I'm sure we're connected to the link. Now watch this. Uh-oh, can't do that. Can't do that. Don't want to do that. I got to go to that video, but I don't want to go to that video. I want to go, didn't want to do that either, hold on.
I'm holding on to too much for too long. That's why it held on. We're going to go back just for a second because I have to come here. Now, what I want to do is I don't want to edit. I want to go to this video. We're not going to listen to it. Don't want to listen to it, ladies and gentlemen. I need to make sure the link works. Oh, if you have not listened to the introduction to Eon, this was something I wrote bringing Eon on the scene, and then I did an interview with Brett and Eon. Brett and Eon are interviewing each other, so Brett is interviewing Eon. Okay? I know. I know, but that's me. Get used to it. If you ain't used to it, you gon' get used to it, because that's just the way it is. That's just the way it's gonna be. Now, I'm looking for the link for the affidavit. Give me one second. No, this is the YouTube channel. Uh, I'm looking for the affidavit. Come on now. Uh-oh, I don't see the link for the affidavit. I know it's in here because I put it in here. The foreshirt link. And if it ain't in here, I'm going to be very upset. There it is right there. See? There's the link. So we're going to go to foreshare. Let's see if the affidavit is there. Oh, no. You guys are able to see. <sighs> Good. I was thinking you weren't able to see. Okay, so now you guys are able to see. Even though this is on my account, I went to the link. And this is where the link took me. Okay? You got a lot of stuff to look for. But remember... The affidavit start with 10 zeros. So let me show you what you do. Watch this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Uh oh, look at that. All purpose affidavits. Okay, they automatically show up. Okay, some of them are not there anymore. I took them down. But you don't want these. These are not the ones you want. This is just me letting you know that you can still find it if you do diligence. Do diligence. Ladies and gentlemen. What I'm doing right now, I did that to show you that the link does work because people are telling me it doesn't work and I know it works because I'm the one who did the stupid link. Mother. Anyway. How do you download it? You see how I clicked on the icon? The actual form? I clicked on it and it took me to this screen. And there won't be a picture. It's because of the way I uploaded it. Okay? So that's just too bad. I'm going to put this link, the new affidavit, in this video. Pay attention download that download not the other download you see these blues stay off blues i done told y'all to stay away from the blues none of y'all are blues singers okay now you see it loads up right here okay now i click on it because it's gonna open it up for me that's right it's gonna open it up open up open up open up now okay it's opening up it's not opening up quick enough how do we make it open up quicker? Well, the reason why it's not opening up quick enough because this one interferes with that one. It doesn't like Windows being open when it's operating. And we're only at 42%. It's gonna take all night to update this Adobe junk. Okay, then you have to click on enable editing because you see how everything's out of whack? Nothing's in place where it should be. Get out of here, Adobe. Tired of you. Okay, this is the affidavit, y'all. Let me show y'all what's unique about this affidavit. The other affidavit was 16 pages. Okay, this one's 14. Okay, we took some things out that we thought were not really necessary. See, one of 14. Okay, but let's go on so that's all of you know. What's different with this one? Well, we added a couple of sections. What sections did you add? If you would just hold up a minute, I'm going to show you what sections we added. Now, shut up, up so I can finish. Oh. You got to put money in a swear jar. This is Lucas Cage syndrome. You got to put money in a swear jar. I didn't swear. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. You said you got to get the... And that's swearing. That ain't swearing. Ain't nobody swore to nothing. I swear to God. See, that's swearing. Now you got to put money in a swear jar. Because you just swore. I did not swear. I was giving an example. Example or sample. It doesn't matter. Ample. You got to put money in a swear jar. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Where's my money? Okay, how much money? $80,000. I don't have $80,000 in quarters. $80,000 in quarters? Who said anything about quarters? It's all the money I got. All you got is quarters. That's right. All right, quarter dollars. Let's go on, ladies and gentlemen. I have to skim down to the space where you all know what you need to know so that you need to know because I'm about to show you something you're not gonna believe it because nobody else would understand it 
unless I told you. So I'm going to tell you. I've been actually debating whether or not I could tell you because some of you are a real piece of work. I want you to pay attention because the affidavit already said it. As I am the owner of the birth certificate registered in the county of on and then the date registered. Ladies and gentlemen, there was a registration event that took place three days or more after you were born. See, we keep saying registered owner. Remember, the registrar of titles authorized to receive for registration of memorials. What are they receiving for memorial? See, registered. You keep seeing the word registered. And then you see register of titles. Did you not know that corporations are registered with the county registrar's office? And the secretary of state's office? Ladies and gentlemen, you are registering an agency. The birth certificate is evidence of an estate, but it's also evidence of the creation of an agency. Just take a look at Law of Agencies and you will see this. We've talked about this many times before. <sighs> so because you're registra registering an agency, just let the courts know if you're in court that you're here representing that agency. But in order for you to properly represent that agency, and I wouldn't say represent the agency, tell him the court if you haven't done what I'm about to show you then you tell them I am here in a limited capacity see date of registration registering certificate okay there's a registering of a agency that's why all of that is necessary that's why they must do a birth certificate because they create an agency then we talk about in the document about corporations now this stuff was already there so none of you guys have to change anything uh oh resignation of agent and agency lord have mercy wait a minute resignation who wants to resign ladies and gentlemen you are the registered agent for the agency when you were born they create the agency your mommy and poppy or if just your mommy or just your poppy if mommy and poppy ain't together or if you one of them babies okay whoever it is that so-called responsible adult that person becomes registered agent until you become 18 and then according to the agreement and according to the laws they have in place you become the registered agent that's why you get all those letters in all capital letters okay because you're the registered agent on behalf of that agency so notice this before we talk about this letter I want you to see this Do we go here no not there we go here okay do you see statement of registration agent okay we did that but we're gonna go back let's go back let's go back we gotta go back a long ways y'all because we did a lot of research today okay I want you to see we did Arizona because I stayed in Arizona and I'm going to suggest many of you if you've lived in another state where you received mail in that state you're going to have to send how to resign as a statutory agent in Arizona every state has a letter of resignation as agent statutory agent resignation every state has this I've already checked every state has this and it pretty much says everything that this says this I put here because this is a general thing for which all of the Secretary of States and all the states go by a registered agent must may resign his agency appointment by signing and delivering to the Secretary of State for filing a statement of resignation the statement may include a statement that the registered office is also discontinued on or about the date of the following of the statement of registration, a registered agent shall deliver or mail a written notice to the agent intention to of the agent's intention to resign. As the chief executive officer, chief finance officer, you can resign from all these positions. The person holding a position comparable to any of the foregoing, as named and at the address shown on the annual registration and in the articles of incorporation, if no annual registration has been filed. 
Okay, the agency appointment is terminated and the registered office discontinued if so provided on the earlier of the filing by the corporation of an amendment of its annual registration designation, a new registered agent or registered office if also discontinued and or 30 days after the date on which the statement was filed. What I've been doing, sorry, the one you have online won't do this because I'm not going to change it again, but just change this to the first day. Pretty much I've already done it because let me show you. I'm going to let you go, na na na, pretty little baby, I say, won't you try to understand, Tierra? Well, this may not be Tierra, this may be GQ. This song has been done by so many people. This is GQ, because I remember seeing GQ. Okay, this song has been done by Tierra, GQ, so many other people. I guess it was one of those songs that everybody and their grandmama liked. Okay, let's get back away from statutory agent. It says, the file number issued by the secretary for the entity making the appointment is, and you're going to put the birth certificate number, because that is the registration number. If you don't believe me, look, it says registration number on the birth certificate. I attest that this was written, that this written notice of my resignation has been given to the under, by the undersigned registered agent to the entity at the address of the entity's most recent known by the agent, which is the Secretary of State's address. Okay? So this is the section that we've added. We've added one more section. Give me one second. Let's see where it is. DBA. Did I do anything? No, I just did some separation up there. Standing. Oh. Administrative notice. No. Issue of standing. Nope. Didn't change that. Just just did some separation of paragraphs and some reorganizing. And we took out a lot of the uh, the internet web page locations that was on the document. Although we were doing that for evidentiary purposes. Okay. We took that out. And all rights retain on the issue of property rights. Uh, note, note the following. Oh, and we put the Senate information about the ownership of all property being in the state. And that my favorite part, you guys all know what I'm, I'm talking about. The money is worth 100 cent on the dollar because it is backed by the credit of the nation. It will represent a mortgage on all the homes and other property of all the people of the nation. Of course, you know, I was going to put that in here. So those are the two things that we've added to this document. As you see, everything else is still the same. The Jarat is on the final page. Those of you who've already done this, the previous, um, what's the word? Who've already done the previous affidavit. We're gonna give you a shortcut. Take the new affidavit, okay? And just attach the Jarat that's to the first affidavit, attach it to this one or get the new one notarized. You don't actually have to file the new one on the record. What you just have to do is you just have to send it to the Secretary of State as a notice of resignation and let them know what page it's on and where to go get the information. Or you can go to their website, pull up their document and use their letter of resignation. Remember, you don't have to use their forms, but if you don't want the argument, use their form, okay? <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very, 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 very tired. Uh, today's been a long day, and so I wanted to, I've been hesitant about getting this video out to you guys because I don't want people misusing the information about the registered agent having to resign his office. But if you don't believe me, just put resignation of agent into any browser and do it for, well, this one is for Arizona. Okay, so that one's for Arizona. Let's see a state that I, Iowa. I don't know how to spell Iowa. There we go. Because I've never really spelled it before. Probably maybe three or four times in my life. Iowa Secretary of State. Resignation. Like I told you, every state has one. Now what I did is I downloaded it and I edited it to fit my purposes, to fit Francis's purposes. So there are some things that well, I can show you. To follow you with me. Rolls Royce wishing on a star, a classic. 
this is me. This is not Francis. This is mine, so I can show you mine. I don't want to show you hers, because that's hers. This is going to New Mexico. And each registered agent goes to a particular office, okay? Most of them goes to the Secretary of State, but this one actually goes to the New Mexico Public Regulations Commission's Corporations Bureau, okay? And like I said, every state has it. They know exactly what this is. So if they play you for a fool, let them know to show you the law that says this doesn't apply. You see this form 402 at 9 and revised 1, 1999? These are dates I changed. Oh, let's get rid of that. There you go. More uniform. And let's get rid of that one. Make that one like that. Okay, you see that? I edited it. I added the A because this is my form. I created the form. They had it, I amended it, I adapted it to my needs. Registration of administrative agent. Then I added entity agency. Okay, that's me adding that. The agency. Now, this is what I was telling you all. When the document asks, ask for the last known address, don't put your address. That's what I did at first, and I didn't realize it, but you need to put the most recently known address to you of where the agency is well it's the secretary of state so send it to the secretary of state the date in which written notice was given to the entity 1994 who gonna argue with you we sent out our all corpse document and i called it exactly that the all corpse document and it did the resignation said you quit you resign. You no longer want it to work for them. They got technical. They didn't consider it as a letter of resignation. Well, I did. So that's why everything is backdated. The date of this, I'm going to sign it. But it's going to be 1-01-2008. Why? Because it doesn't matter. I can do it on whatever day I want. Because it's all about me resigning. See? Print or type the name of the resigning registered agent. Ladies and gentlemen, this document is almost ready to go. I just got to put the address. You got to do Francis. And then you've got to put your EIN number, which is the social security number with one dash. And there you go. And then I put exempt filing because no filing fee. Now, many states do have a filing fee, ladies and gentlemen, and many of you need to check to see what the filing fee is so that you don't run into problems. But I have a habit of saying exempt. Okay? Now, there is more to this. So, I'm giving you a start of where your research should be headed. This is one of those little small pieces that many of you did not have because you didn't have the understanding that they created an agency with the birth certificate. There's an estate, an agency, a corporation. What you have to do so that you don't have to continue to act as the agent for that agency is you have to resign and you have to keep a copy of that resignation i am also going to suggest that you put an international stamp on that signature line and you sign through the international stamp if you want to go one step better get it notarized that's up to you not up to me that's why i added it to the birth certificate affidavit poa because you can get it notarized now. Hey! You abandoned me. And love don't live here no more. It's just a fantasy. And love don't live here anymore. Just a vacancy. Because love don't live here anymore. Sorry, Rolls Royce, y'all. The same group that's saying, At the car wash! Whoa, 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 whoa. Anyway, Rolls Royce. All right, ladies and gentlemen. You see? I am high on something. But I ain't take no medication. All I know is I haven't been feeling well today. And as tired as I am, I wanted to take the time to get this video out to you guys so that you guys can have this information so you know exactly what you've been missing. Many of you have not been doing the resignation. I keep telling all of you, you may have done this, you may have done that, but you've missed certain things. Certain things that was necessary that you, per se, did not know were necessary. It took someone like me to come in and say, hey, you forgot to do this. Hey, you didn't do that. Hey, you should have done this. Hey, you should have done that. You guys 
didn't do any of this. Some of you have done some of these things before. <sighs> Finally, ladies and gentlemen, I've been receiving calls from people. And when I don't answer right away, they hang up. Then they call right back. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, those of you in the future, and I want to make sure everybody knows because I'm not going to do anything special in the title of this video. I'm just going to put it out there on public record. If you call me and I don't answer and you don't leave a message, I'm going to block you. That's right. We're going to act like the V-chip. I'm going to block you because you're too dangerous and too violent for the kids. So I'm going to have to block you. I'm going to have to do a Donald Trump and excommunicate you. Okay? Hey, it used to be the White House. Is it now the Orange House? Can somebody tell me, is it now the Orange Room as opposed to the Green Room or the Blue Room? Huh? Is it no longer the West Wing but the O-Ring? Hmm? The man is orange. Okay? Bill Maher said that he was an ancestress of an orange monkey. I think Bill Maher was accurate. You know, Donald Trump tried to sue him because he said that Donald Trump was quite possibly the ancestor of an orange monkey. I wish that idiot would sue me. Now, please understand, it's, I want everybody to know, it's not that I hate Donald Trump. It's not that I don't like Donald Trump. I think that he is a joke, the same as I thought Bush was a joke. Everybody knew Bush was an idiot. Everybody knows Donald Trump is an idiot. Because you cannot fake that type of stupidity. I don't care who you are. And he's not putting on a show. He's not joking. And some of the things he's going to do, some people are going to applaud and they're going to appreciate. People, stop thinking that that idiot is president. He is a puppet, just like Obama was a puppet. Just like Bush was a puppet, Clinton was a puppet, Reagan was a puppet, wow. Ford was a puppet. There were all puppets. It's really good what you need to understand is who the puppet masters are. Somebody just sent me a text talking about how Donald Trump is talking about removing themselves from the UN. <sighs> the United States withdrawing from the UN. Now, can any of you understand how stupid that is? How that could never happen? How that's a joke? Where do you think the UN is located? Can anybody say New York? So how could the United States not be a part of the UN and then the UN is situated right here in the United States? Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh no, it's sovereign territory. Shut the f up. God, if ignorance could speak any louder, you would be the mouthpiece and the bass and the speakers and the amplifier. God, ladies and gentlemen, understand something. Who created the UN? I'll give you time to think. 1945, after World War II. Where was the UN created? Was it not New York? Who created the League of Nations? Was it not Woodrow Wilson and Britain? The same as the United Nations, Britain, and the United States. So please do not listen to that rhetoric of some idiot talking about they're going to withdraw from the United Nations. The New World Order is ran by the United Nations. So, please, watch the information that you're taking in. Oh, by the way, I keep telling all of you that I'm going to show you where I'm getting my information from. Ladies and gentlemen, resignation of agency, that I'm going to show you where I'm getting my information from. That's one state. I've already shown you another state, and then another state, and then another state. And this is a whole page uh, as far as resignation of resident agent form new it says new Iowa <laughs> it's supposed to be just Iowa anyway ladies and gentlemen that was a hundred and forty eight thousand results this is seventy two uh, seventy eight thousand two hundred results that shows you how much is being talked about with this and each one of them how to resign as registered agent 
or Iowa LLC Corporation. Now that's Iowa. Now notice what it says. The very first one says how to resign as registered agent. Let's do another simple one. O-H-I-O. <sighs> the Ohio Statutory Agent Resignation. The exact same thing. See? NorthwestRegisteredAgent.com. This is not Ohio. This is this company doing it. And it's an Ohio form. They have one for every state. Registered Agent Update Form 521. But we want resignation of registered agent. Now this one is Tennessee, Secretary of State. Every state has one because every state is required to produce birth certificates, which creates an agency, which gives the United States government and the United States control over you. So let's start taking and getting control over us and our securities. 31 minutes, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for allowing me to bring this video to you. Have a good evening. Good night.